Hey guys, Fish Cable with Alex here. How's everybody doing? Today, I'll be talking about top 10 things all you sh fish keepers should have from beginners to advanced keepers. So these are some information and some things that all you fish keepers should have. So just in case something goes wrong or just things that you might have not known, like you should have of or you should have more of and stuff like that. So I hope you guys find this interesting. And this is a collection of my top 10 things that I recommend that everybody should have. <clears throat> Sorry guys. So before we get started, I just want to say that I'm reading off my iPhone, um, the, what I wrote down. So I apologize if I'm looking down. And I also want to say I apologize for background, like coughing, stuff like that. Um, it's really hard to get a great video done around here, too much noise, too much stuff going on. So I really do apologize about all this. So hopefully we don't get much of that and we can have a good video for once. And by the way, I've got a brand new camera, so I'm happy about that. So at number one, let's talk about a spare heater. It's important to have a spare heater because what happens if it breaks down or it explodes and you say, all right, I'm going to go out tomorrow, but tomorrow is too late. During the night, it was six degrees, let's say, and you come home in the morning, it's five, you come, wake up and it's five degrees in your tank. And then you have a look and your fish aren't looking too good and they've got ick and they've developed some problems. They've developed something wrong with them or it's not looking good and you're like, all right, they should be all right. After work tomorrow, I'll get a heater. But it's too late. They've got, they've got a problem. So it just all depends of time with the heaters. So with a spare heater, you can say, all right, well, this is pro this is a problem. Let's chuck the new heater in and it will be fine, which it will be. So this is why I recommend having a, spa a spare heater. As you guys can see, I've got one heater there. I've got a few spare in the garage. So they're my fish room um, heaters. So I've got a few left over. So just in case anything like that happens. So they're crucial to have a spare heater. I tell all my mates that they have a spare heater and they're like, oh, no, no, no. But again, it's up to you guys if you want to have a spare heater or not. Now, going on about number two. Now, number two is a hospital tank. Now, later on, I'll create a video just about hospital tanks. We'll go in, about, we'll go in more detail about hospital tanks. Um, we'll talk about why they're important and things like that. But at the moment, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of why I recommend that everybody should have a hospital tank. The reason why a hospital tank is, what happens if something happens in your fish tank? Like, let's say your really nice, colourful electric blue, or electric blue alley, or electric blue fryer, whatever you want to call it, because everyone's got different names for them, so I call them electric blues. So what happens if your nice, beautiful um, electric blue peacock gets injured and you've got nowhere to put it and you put it in a fishnet and sometimes when you put them in a fishnet they can still get like bitten through it and that and where you've got a spare um, hospital tank where you can put it under your fish tank or in like a, like a room or something it's not really that important but like the room or whatever because it's a hospital tank but you can just put them in there and put some medications and all that in and it'll be good as gold and you can just replace them or what happens if you've got baby fry or there's aggression going on you can just put them in that so hospital tanks are good for many of many things um, and like there's heaps of people I say get a hospital tank and they're like oh no it's too expensive to get a brand new tank but you can get second hand tanks that's all you need or if you want to get a 10 litre, 20 litre, 30 litre, something like that, something small just to put one fish in or something like that. You can get them really cheap these days. Um, so they're important as well to get a hospital tank. So like I said in another video I'll do all about hospital tank and we'll get into further detail about that. Going on to number three is a fishnet. You're probably like, oh yeah, we know about a fishnet, but I want to tell you guys. You can never have too many fish tanks. I mean, sorry, fishnets. Oh, <laughs> fishnets. You can never have too many fishnets. I've got ten at the moment. I've got like six small ones, one massive one that won't even fit in this tank, um, or they're like medium size. So you can never have too many fishnets. You want to get the perfect size, and like you, you just can't have too many of them. So they're important to have. Um, they're good for like separating as well. They're awesome to have, so you can never have too many of them. Going on to number four, 
four basic medications. So, some of the four basic medications are Malefix, Primafix, General Cure, and Super E Cure. Now, Malefix and Primafix, I recommend. Super E Cures and stuff like that, they're also good as well. So, they're really good. So, basically, guys, I'm just going to show you what the Primafix is. So, we should be able to. Sorry guys, there we go, Primifix. This is a great product by API. So Primifix. So basically what Primifix is, it's an antifungal remedy for management of aquarium fish diseases, rapid AIDS, healing of fungal infections on body and fins. So they're really good to have. Um, I use it a lot on stuff that like I can see like fungus growing or stuff that's not looking too good there as well they're good as well also some aquarium salt aquarium salt is really good not like not like aquarium salt that's gonna put turn into a salt water go to your lo local aquarium and ask for aquarium salt and they'll be able to help you out with that but that's also good for them as well um, that brings some good stuff into the tank and it helps um, them fight diseases and stuff like that but there's heaps of opinions these days what people have to say about all stuff like that. Going on to number five, a siphon hose. This is your siphon hose. So it's basically off an under gravel cleaner. Yeah, so it's basically off an under gravel cleaner. So you can put it in the water there and suck and all the water will go through. So this is a great way to do water changes. This is a great way to scoop up fry. This is a great things to do just to use it for um, so they're really awesome to have as well so I recommend getting some um, you can never have too many of them as well so they come in they they're really handy and they're important as well also water conditioners and water ager so this is some water water conditioner I've got blue crystals this this helps with many things in the fish tank. Um, I've water gone. Oh, sorry, guys. So basically, water ager, CN. This is what I use. Water ager. So water ager is important. It the benefits of it is it neutralizes chlorine, chloramine, ammonia, detoxifies heavy metals such as copper, lead, zinc, aluminium, iron, slime crates, and protects the fish. So they're important to have stuff like that. It helps really much. It helps really good to get rid of those nasty ammonia spikes. Helps doing stuff like that. So they're good for when you're starting a new tank and when you're doing water changes. So they're important to have. Also, I'd like to say that getting a fish, a fish disease chart or infection chart. Um, they're important as well because you might refer to them one day about diseases so let's say you can't contact like the aquarium they're shut and you can't contact and you've got this disease chart and you have a look at it and it might say something about ick or it might say something about um, white spot and you might be able to um, you might be able to find out some information about that and how to treat it while your aquarium shop is closed or something so these things can help you out really well so just having stuff like that, it will help you in the long term of fish keeping. Also, going on to our second last on our list is care sheets. Now everyone, you guys are probably like, oh yeah, care sheets, we all heard of them. But if you want to know more about fish and stuff like that, I definitely recommend getting care sheets. Like for beginners, definitely get care sheets because they're important. They tell you where the fish is from, how to keep them, like their water parameters, right? So we all know what ammonia is going to be. If you don't know what ammonia is going to be, then I suggest fish keeping is not for you. Ammonia is meant to be at zero. Zero. Not one, not two, not three, not four, zero. GH, we all know. Not many of you know, but GH, Junior Hardness. So, there's many different types of GH responding res results. Depends on what fish you have. 
nitrate and nitrites, it's the same as well. It depends on fish. It depends on which species of fish. So definitely get care sheets because they'll help you in the long term. And it'll help you for beginners of picking out your fish, knowing what which fish are aggress aggressive and stuff like that. Also, going on to our last one, we've made it through. Our last one is to have a plan. So you want to have a plan. What happens if saying stuff's up in your tank and you've got no plan? Or what happens if you've got babies and you don't have a plan? Or if saying if you've got a crack or if you've got a leak and you don't have a plan of what to do. By having a plan, you can ensure that you've got a plan for everything that happens. I'm not saying that you're going to have a plan for like a leak next minute. But I'm just saying, have a plan just in case things go wrong. Have a plan to know what to do when something goes wrong. By having a plan, you'll be able to ensure that these stuff won't happen. So guys, a plan, plan everything and you'll be good to go. So, I want to wrap it up here guys. We've discussed about 10 things or so about what I recommend you guys should have. So, like it if you enjoyed the video. Um, comment if you found this interesting or comment what you guys do or comment what stuff you do um, that's in your list and just share the community out there guys because we've got a big broad community of fish keeping and I want to bring more of my stuff to you and I want to like get to know all of you by doing YouTube videos and stuff like this so guys subscribe for more fish keeping values and yeah so I'll catch you later on our next video